So OpenAI's ChatGPT just dropped the one feature that they were really behind on versus the competition, image generation. Introducing their brand new image 1.5 model. In this blog post, you can see a bunch of comparisons, but what we're gonna do here today is the thing that I wish somebody did for me or the thing that I care about, which is various use cases and comparing them to the big competitor, which as you might know is Google Gemini's Nano Banana and now Nano Banana Pro. If you're not familiar, Google has Gemini, which is OpenAI's ChatGPT competitor. And within that, they launched this Nano Banana model that is just so, so good at not just generating images, we have a lot of good ones there, but editing images. And this, the story of this release for OpenAI, really is them trying to catch up or overtake Google's Nano Banana model. So in this video, I'll show you various examples. I'll show you how to use it. I'll show you what you can expect and give you a verdict on which one of them is better and if you should consider switching or if this is all you need. So I'll just start by quickly showing you this blog post because there's a lot of great examples. And if you wanna get inspired on what you can do with these, this is the place to do that. What I'm gonna be doing in this video is <laughs> compare stuff. But this is, this is pretty, sorry, okay. This is just good stuff here. There's good examples here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to use it. So if you go into ChatGPT, starting here, very simple. The old model doesn't exist anymore in there. It's just a new one. So when you ask it to create an image of a cat with a hat, then boom, it will use the brand new model. If I open a new tab and kind of go here, you will also see that this images tab is brand new. This wasn't here before. So, so if I go here from within here, everything I type in will automatically be an image. You can also use these presets here. You can browse through them. You can also create beautiful images like the ones you saw for the blog post. It's quite simple. If I check out the cat with a hat image, you might notice that this is already rendering and any second we should see this appear. This thing is four times faster. That's a big deal. Four times faster than the previous model, which was very, very slow. I, it was quite annoying actually how slow it was and this, look at that. This is totally feasible. Plus, you can also run multiple of these in parallel. Not exactly sure what the limit of that is, but you can run like four images in parallel, no problem, which is nice. And it's a solid image generator. To talk about image generation quality before we go into comparisons and maybe a bit more in-depth use cases, I will say this. We ran our test prompts that you might be familiar with. We have these basic test prompts. And I started even like considering this much with all the image generators because look at that, Nano Banana Pro, Mid Journey V7, Flux 2. They're all just good. They're all the Grok image here. They're all good. Like, okay, there are different flavors of good. But I mean, look at that. If I zoom in a little bit, these logos, okay, I mean, maybe you have a preference. Maybe Hanyuan 3.0 is the best here. I don't know. ChatGPT image is also really good. It's just good. They all can do text, as you can see in this book cover example here, right? All of them can do text really well. Matter of fact, this one does infographics really well, just like Nano Banana. And all the other examples, I mean, aerial photography, these are just different flavors of good. Like, I don't know. There's no real difference, in my opinion. Maybe... Sure, Mid Journey still has the stylistic upper hand. I think it wins on style, right? But when it comes to generating images, I think it's just, they're all just good. They're all really good. Now, there's a second thing to consider here, which is not image generation, but image editing. And that's where I want to pull away the screen and actually show you some of these comparisons that I prepared here for you. Because if you look at that, this is why Google took the throne and why Google was the best in terms of image models, because it couldn't do just image generation, but also image editing. Now ChatGPT can do it too at the same level. That would be my conclusion in terms of image editing. Also image generation is at the same level with some of these top models, but image editing too. Now, if I start with a cat and I say, make this cat into a realistic looking mouth-watering gingerbread cookie. By the way, this is one of the presets. If you navigate to the images tab, then here, the different styles you can try, that is this one. Um, so you, you can, yeah, you can do presets like that. I would just need to select an image. You get the point. But let's have a look at this gingerbread cookie that we get from this cat. Same input image, same prompt on the right side with Nano Banana on the left side. We have ChatGPT image 1.5. Well, let's look at that cookie. Hmm. Okay, this one is 
has the background, but in terms of cookie quality, I mean, I don't know. It's the same thing in terms of quality. Like, which one is better? It's, it's, and this was the theme across me looking at many of these examples and all across the internet, people comparing these. It's just different flavors of good. That would be my conclusion. Now look, editing. Now make it wear a gingerbread Santa hat. It did it, it, did it here, but it also did it here. Different flavors of good. Like you have to be extremely nitpicky to really say like, okay, this one is, I don't know, the background is more stock photo-y. But then like I could prompt that away and like which one is more realistic? Like, I don't know. Hard to say. Let's look at another example. This one. Make me into Santa Claus on top of our roof climbing into a chimney. This is the same input image of me in both of these. Quick refresh, you'll see it. There you go. And then this is Santa 1 and this is Santa 2. Which one is better? Well, arguably, I would say ChatGPT image looks a bit more like me. And this is one thing that I did notice. It resembles me better. But the thing is, like, honestly, I have a pretty, how do I put it, generic face. Like, maybe generic is not the right word, but it's like well represented in the training data, similar-ish faces. Whereas some people have a face that is not very typical, let's say. And then the images will look different because this is just looking into its training data and finding the closest approximation. And I think for me, definitely, ChatGPT1 is way better. And overall, from what I've seen, ChatGPT is overall more consistent on keeping a human's face. And also from some tests that I've seen all across Twitter, it's way better at doing multiple people, like four to six people. ChatGPT is way better than Gemini. But on this one, same, kind of same. I would say maybe ChatGPT wins because it looks more like me than this one. This does not really, I wouldn't barely recognize myself. But I think it's very similar. One more, and this is something that, you know, for me, I always try this, but no model is really good at. Use this picture of me as a reference and make me into a kite surfer hitting a new personal record of a 20 meter jump height. Okay, so if you don't know, I love kite surfing and it kind of does this. Now, I will say, I think on this one, the Gemini one is actually way better because the proportions are kind of like, this kite is not supposed to be here. This is actually right. I'm looking at the watch. Okay, this is still good. Like it's not night and day on this one. Gemini takes it home if I had to make a decision. Now, if I scroll further and say edit this image, making it look like I'm 20 meters up in the air flying next to seagulls, okay? So if I do that, the results, well, on this one, I would argue that ChatGPT did a better job at editing this. It put the seagulls in there. It put me, well, it changed the ocean. It put the seagulls in there. Whereas on this one, it kind of, well, I think I'm lower down. So if I had to say on editing is this. So potato, potato, like it's not clear which one is better. It just depends on the use case. I would say overall, my conclusion would be that they're very similar. Now, I'll do one more and I'll show you how to do this remixing of images. If you're not familiar yet, I'll just add a face of me and then maybe I'll say create a YouTube thumbnail and we can do a side by side comparison of a shocked face promoting a revolutionary image generation AI model. Nice. Put that in here too. Upload an image of me too. And as a final showdown, we can run both of these. Oh, I should be in a new chat there. Put this in here. Okay. Send, send at the same time. And while these results manifest and show on screen here, I want to give you my conclusion from all the examples I've seen so far. I think they're on par. I think they're both excellent at text. I think they're both excellent at infographics. I think they're both excellent at turning faces into humans. Arguably, ChatGPT is maybe a little better. But I think the big overarching story here is OpenAI dropped this model to be on par with Gemini, so people don't have a reason to leave. And I think they succeeded. Last week, I did the video on the GPT 5.2 model, which made this on par with Gemini 3, which was Google's model. And with these two changes, there's not much reason to go to Gemini, in my opinion, because we have the image generation, 
you have the smart model, you have good instructions following, and arguably you have the better face retention. I mean, let's have a look at this. I think this looks kind of like me, not entirely. And let's have a look at this final result. I mean, hey, come on, do your best, ChatGPT. A lot of people are going to judge you based on this. I personally, you tell me what you think. I think the graphics on this are better. Like from a graphic design perspective, this is better. But from uh, the face actually looking like me perspective, I say ChatGPT is actually better. I say this one is closer to me than this one. I don't, but in terms of graphics design, it's this one. So, hey, if you want the best editing model, maybe try both. If I only had to pick one, I personally pick ChatGPT. Part of the reason is because I'm already in there and using it as my daily driver. And another part of the reason is that I really like how it maintains my face and makes me look, but you'll have to try that for yourself. It's pretty much everything I have for today. My name is Igor. I hope this was helpful to you and go create some cool images. Final tip, creating custom Christmas cards for your family is a great gift. If you print those, that's it's personalized, it's easy. You can do it on the free accounts and it's just really fun. And I think they'll appreciate it. All right, hope that helped. My name is Igor Pagani and I hope you have a wonderful day.